If you are here today, I believe it's because the Lord wants to confirm to you that he has called you to be a pioneer for the kingdom, okay? And in order to pioneer, you have to enter uncharted territory. That's a scary place, but we're going to go ahead and talk about it today, y'all. We're going through that territory together. I am LaJessica, your spiritual cheerleader, destiny helper, and prophetic voice sent by the Lord to encourage, equip, celebrate, and release the word of the Lord, okay? So the Lord gave me this word today, and he said that he has called many of us to pioneer, but in order to do so, we must enter unchartered territory. And for those of you who don't know what that means, I'm going to go ahead and read a definition um, for you. Um, it is unfamiliar area or situation, especially one that has or seems to have no maps or guidelines. Okay. And for a lot of us, we're in these situations where we can't ask anybody else for advice for what we're going through because nobody's been there before. There's no blueprint, there's no layout, there's no guidelines, okay? Similarly, when Christopher Columbus first traveled to America, and you know, I know that's up for debate whether or not Christopher Columbus discovered America, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna say when he first traveled to America, there were no maps, there was no guidelines, there was nothing for him to, um, to follow. For, in order for him to get there. There was no one that he could seek and say, hey, how do I get to America? How do I get to this place? How do I stake my claim over there? Shoot, he probably didn't even know that there was going to be an America, but he said, I'm willing and ready to go out and explore and see what is out there for me. And so it is with some of you. See, for Simon Peter, when the Lord called him to come and walk out on the water, that was uncharted territory. No one had ever walked out on the water before, but he had to trust the Lord that when he said, come on out on this water, baby, come on out on this water, that he wasn't going to sink, that he would surely walk on that water, that he would surely take that territory, okay? And it is the same for all of us. If you're on this video today, it's because the Lord led you here. He led you here to let you know and confirm to you that you are indeed a pioneer for the kingdom. And what you're going through, you don't have anybody else who you can contact and ask for advice because nobody's been that way before. There are no guidelines. There are no blueprints. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There are no blueprints for you to follow. Nobody has been that way before. But if you trust the Lord, he'll call you to walk out on that water and you'll reclaim that territory. You'll claim your stake on that land. You'll be a pioneer for the kingdom. You'll be one of the first to be written about in this area. In this area, y'all, that's very exciting. I know it can be scary. It can be a little bit intimidating. Where I am right now, I'm like, okay, Lord, I don't know what I'm doing. But he does. And all I have to do is put one foot in front of the other and follow the Lord day by day, minute by minute, hour by hour, and we'll reach our destination. See, because it takes sacrifice in order to do big things for the kingdom. And the Lord is calling you to sacrifice your emotions, sacrifice your time, sacrifice your talents, but most importantly, to trust him as you enter this unknown. Because you're venturing out into the unknown, y'all, and we're going there together. We're going there together. I look forward to hearing the testimonies of how the Lord has used you and the things that you have created for the kingdom. Father God, we just release your creativity over your children right now, Father. I pray a peace and a calm would come over them, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you said if any man lacks wisdom, let them ask of you and you will give liberally without finding fault, Father. We ask for your wisdom to proceed in this in this season, Father, in this hour, at this time, oh God. We thank you, Father, that you are a good God, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you would remove every spirit of doubt father that you would remove it from their heart and their minds lord because you have said that he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the land the wind that he should not expect to receive anything from you father let us be men and women of faith to trust and believe in you to venture out into the unknown and take and reclaim territory for your kingdom father to be pioneers for the kingdom of righteousness, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for each person who was under the sound of my voice today for this prophetic confirmation, Father God. I thank you that you have sent them here for such a time as this, Lord, and I pray that you would use them for your glory, for your kingdom, and for your righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let you get all the glory, oh God. 
I thank you for giving them divine inspiration, wisdom of witty inventions and new ideas, Father, that you may be glorified in all that they do. If this word has blessed you, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notifications of when we drop another message. Share it with someone who you know may be in uncharted territory so that you can encourage them too. And until next time, y'all, be blessed. <laughs>